temporary four-legged ones find a home just in the nick of time. Home for the Holidays Pet Adoption Fair drew in hundreds of families, kids, and potential pet parents looking to give dogs, cats, bunnies, and even guinea pigs a new home. The whole event, really, the goal is to adopt as many animals as possible uh, from the event. And um, we have about 30 organizations or so that come to the event and bring their animals along. Um, some of the common goals are to educate the public about adopting through a shelter. And um, also we have vendors here that are available, um, food vendors and uh, vendors that are selling clothing and um, blankets and things for the animals. Purebred and mixed big and small, when it comes to dogs, they have them all, with hundreds up for adoption, including the main draw, puppies. Sweet, small, soft and cuddly. And we walk up to this little guy and he's just so sweet and so calm and just very curious. And it seems like he'd do really good with my little sisters. It just ended up working out perfectly. He's very beautiful, he's loving, he's, he's so small. <laughs> It's excited, so a medium dog for our family is going to be great. In Scott Hornbeek's case, it was love at first sight online. We found baby Barney on the internet and uh, up the adoption agency Vida and uh, Laura said come here at, right away at 10 o'clock because 10 people wanted this dog and so uh, she knew he'd go to, to a good home. We live in San Clemente, we have a nice yard and a nice fence and uh, we'll take good care of him. He's going to be a great pet. Other rescues were adopting out older dogs. And when Laura Blanchard and her son Brayden spotted Roland, well, they knew they'd be going home with a new furry family member. Well, we bought a dog two years ago at this event. Um, we're kind of uh, loyal to this event, put it on the calendar every year. Um, this year we decided, you know, our dog is two years old and needs probably a friend. We got a really big backyard. and. Um, so we thought, well, we'll just be open-minded and come today and see. And we looked at some puppies, we're like, oh, maybe let's just keep looking. And I think we found our match. <laughs> he seems to be a good personality. He's got a lot of personality. They said he's, he seems pretty chill, but he jumped right in my lap and that was, he got me right then and there. Well, I'm excited because our dog, he's been really lonely. So he's going to have a friend when we get home. and. Like, Benny has bonded more to my mom when he, he was supposed to be my dog, but uh, now he could be mine, so I was just excited. The Greyhound Adoption Rescue was educating people on the breed and hoping to find foster and forever homes for their older dogs who were once racing dogs. They've always lived in a crate and run around the track and been put back in their crate. So we, uh, you know, we teach them stairs. They got to see themselves in a mirror for the first time, not to get up on the table or the stove. I mean, they've never been around that. So we just teach them, you know, teach them that stuff. All of this training takes place before the greyhounds are adopted out. Many can even be therapy dogs. Other rescues doing outreach include the Golden Retriever Club of Greater Los Angeles. Leslie White and her dog Lexi are letting people know the important role golden retrievers can play. She works with patients who have dementia in a senior center, and then about three years ago, she passed her screening, and now she's a crisis response dog. So what we do is we travel whenever there are crises, uh, particularly in the western United States, mudslides, wildfires, shootings, and she goes and she comforts the people that have been affected by crisis and disasters. Lexi serves as a great example for people considering a rescue when looking to adopt a dog. There was even a special area dedicated to cats and kittens as well. David Beaver and his wife found that this venue is ideal to see if their five-year-old daughter is ready for the responsibility. I actually grew up with cats my whole life and we've had a cat before and I know she's very interested uh, we want to make sure she's ready for a cat before it actually comes home just to be, you know, so it's good for the cat and for her. And uh, so this is just kind of a first pass at seeing how she handles it. While hundreds left the fair and will have a pet home for the holidays, others might have signed up to foster or volunteer. All in all, it was a good day for animals and a good day for their new owners. out for
for Irvine Animal Care Center's next big event, Super Pet Adoption. It happens in June. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twag. <laughs>